This is the battery which don't need any separator. And it's easy to make like putting oil to water. Hello everybody, today in this video I will try the concept idea of making some cell which don't need any separator. Because the anode and the cathode side of the cell will be separated by itself, by phase separation. But before I will start with the cell, let's make a look what is actually the separator. The separator in the battery is really critical component, because the separator will separate the positive from the negative side of the cell. And in the same time, the separator also needs to be porous, because the porous will allow flow of the ions from the one side of the cell to another side, which is really important. And for this reason you have many porous materials which you can use for the separator. From some easy and cheap separators like toilet paper, filter paper, some cardboard or even thin layer of wood will also work really great. And then we have also a little bit more expensive polymer separators which are mostly used in lithium ion batteries. And the commercial name of these polymer separators is Cellguard. And then in the end we have also some really expensive membranes which are used in fuel cells or in some flow batteries. And some good example of this membrane is some Nafion. And now let's go back to the separator free cell. But guys, please know that this kind of cell is some early stage idea because the cell is not really powerful. But it's some good concept for future development which this kind of separator free system can be used in flow batteries and in some metal air batteries, for example. And now I think that is the time to make this battery. The battery which I will make will be some basic zinc air battery. And now that I can make this battery which the anode and the cathode will be separated by phase separation, I need two materials or better to say two liquids which don't mix together. And what is really easily to find is of course some water and some oil. Here I use this paraffin oil. And here I have some ordinary water. The water will be, let's say, the negative side of the battery. And the oil will be the positive or the cathode side of the battery. But first, before I will assemble this kind of battery, I will make the cathode. And like I said, the cathode will be based on this paraffin oil. Here I have some cup. Into this cup I will put a little bit of paraffin oil, like so, a little bit more, okay, this will be great. And now into this oil I will put a little bit of activated carbon. This will be fine and to boost the performance a little bit I will also add a little bit of manganese dioxide. So here I have some combination, I mean some mix of manganese dioxide and carbon black. Just a little bit, this will be enough. And after mixing, I get something like this. Really nice. So, the cathode is ready. Here in this beaker I have 25 milliliters of water. And to this water I will also put some sodium hydroxide. So, because I also need some electrolyte. Here I have this sodium hydroxide. Just a little bit. This will be fine. Okay. 
here I have my electrolytes and here I have my negative electrode which is actually the zinc and because here on the top I will put this oily cathode for this reason I need to isolate this section of this zinc with some carton tape Like so, this will be great. So the captain is right in the area where I will put this cat out. And now we'll switch the angle of the camera. And now I get this cat outside, which is this layer over here. And here on the bottom is the anode. And these two layers will not mix together. And now in the end, I also need some connection to this oily cathode. And for this job, I will use this carbon rod. And now let's check the voltage of this cell. and the cell produce 1.6 volts. Very really great. But like I said before, this kind of separator free cell is not really powerful. Because if I switch to the current, then you will see that the current output is really, really weak. and I get around 37 microamps. And for the last, I connected two membrane-free cells together. Here's the positive, the negative, positive, negative electrode. And the voltage of Two cells right now is 3.2 volts. Here I have some small LED and let's see if this kind of battery can light up this little LED. Yeah. So guys, that's it for now and we we'll see us in the next video. Bye.